right, another edition of Quarantine Games. Here's what we're gonna do today. Today is one of my all-time childhood favorite activities that I still like to do once in a while. All right, paper airplanes. Paper airplanes. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some sort of paper, obviously, right? Paper airplanes, okay? It could be scratch paper. It could be something that you doodled and don't like anymore. It doesn't matter. It could be blank. Like I said, it doesn't matter. As long as you no longer need that piece of paper, you can turn that thing into a paper airplane. So the basic paper airplane will be constructed with a traditional eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, just like this, okay? It can be colored, it can be white. Like I said, it could have drawings on it, writing on it, print on it. As long as you don't need it, you're good to go. Next, we'll show you how to make and fold your own paper airplane. All right, now that you have your paper, it's just a blank eight and a half by 11. We are gonna now gonna make the basic paper airplane. First thing you're gonna do after my ice maker is done filling water, there you go. Now what you're gonna do, the first step, number one, is you're gonna take the bottom part here and you're gonna bring it up and fold it all the way up to the top Try to get as close as you can, nice and straight. And then you're gonna fold the paper in half. So you're gonna fold it the long way, okay? So you see when I open it up, this is the long way, this would have been the shorter way. Okay, so now that it's folded the long way, it's cut in half. What you're gonna do is take this top corner up here, pinch it, and then fold just one, portion of it towards you and so that it makes kind of like a nice little triangle this is your triangle okay then you're just gonna do the opposite so flip it over and then try to match the fold you just made okay so what you should have is the beginning of your airplane now this is the last step this is a uh, basically a three-step process. So that was step two. Step three is now you're gonna make your wing. So what you're gonna do, just grab one portion of it, okay? Grab the top of paper here, bring it towards you, and then go to about right there or so. So you have about an inch, inch and a half between the top of the wing to the bottom of the wing, okay? Fold it down. Flip it over and then just match your same fold that you just did, okay? And then boom, your paper airplane is complete. So you can grab it from the bottom, flip it over, puff up the wings, and then that is your paper airplane. gonna do is we're gonna make a jet airplane so first thing you're gonna do is take your paper you're going to fold it in half try to get it as close as you can on the seams and then you want to fold it so it's nice and tight okay now that you did that you're gonna take one edge of the paper and fold it towards you so that it's right on the bottom line and makes a diagonal, okay? Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So your airplane is starting to take some shape. It's like a, is this a rhombus, I believe? Okay, I could be wrong with that, by the way. Don't quote me. So now that we have our beginning portion, what you're gonna do now is take this corner right here, that's kind of at a angle. You're gonna pinch it and then pull it back down again towards you to make another 
kind of more narrow point. And then you're gonna flip it and do the same thing. Grab the corner, pull it down, and fold. Okay, you can see how it's nice and narrow now. Now the last step that we need to do is make the wing. Grab this piece right up here, pull it down towards you, and then you can go as however far you want to go down, but I like to fold it so it's about an inch from the top of the wing to the bottom of the wing, and then make it a nice straight line, okay? Flip it, and then do the same thing. This time pull it away. Find it so it's equal with the other one you just made, and fold it. And then once it's in this shape, what you can do is flip it upside down, pinch the bottom part of the plane, and then puff the airplanes up. And now you got yourself an airplane. Whoosh. All right, now that you were able to explore the two basic formats of the paper airplane, now's a chance to explore even more further into paper airplanes. Um, there is a great website right down here. Um, just click on it and you will see a plethora of different designs that you can do. And they range from like easy to immediate, moderate to hard to even like an expert. So if you're an origami master, this is where you should probably try to focus. If you're not, if you're like me, I'm probably going down to the easy ones, okay? But they're just fun different designs that you can try and just see kind of how they fly or just, just do your best to just try to make one and see what happens. So that's all we have for you for Quarantine Games Paper Airplanes Edition. And if you're like my dog right there, you're tired out from doing this. Just kidding. Have a wonderful day and we'll, until next time, we'll see you later.